Here are some tips and tricks from me, Lori Lane. There are lots of different types of models, actors, and talent. Which one are you? Supermodels get paid the big bucks. Typically at least five foot nine inches tall, they work for famous designers. They have elevated their brands such that they are now household names. Males too have been successful in the business. They are rich and famous. Like their female counterparts, they too have earned the title of supermodel. Like supermodels, editorial models, or fashion models are also paid well. These are men and women you typically see in magazines like Vogue, Elle, and GQ. They shoot big ad campaigns for jeans, coats, and underwear, etc. Like supermodels, runway or catwalk models model designer clothes for buyers. They are at least five foot nine inches tall and work for famous designers but they have very specific measurement specs. Glamour models have a lot of sex appeal and have a predominantly male audience. As such, they appear in a lot of male publications. Commercial models don't have the size restrictions that editorial and runway models do. Commercial models are in ads from everything from clothes to groceries. People of all sizes and shapes are commercial models. Child models are a specific type of commercial model. Anyone under 18 is a child model. They must have a parent or guardian signature before working. Mature models are women and men who are over the age of 40. Unlike the past, they are in high demand these days probably due to the aging of the baby boomers. Seniors, 50 plus, are a subset of this category. Plus size models are another specific type of commercial model. They are at least five foot nine. What qualifies as plus size? In the modeling world, it's a size eight. But many clients think of plus size as 12 and over. Promotional models are usually seen on the showroom floor. They promote cars, computers, coffee machines, and even liquor. They walk around demonstrating the product and handing out samples or freebies. There are other types of model and talent that you may not have even thought about before. Take a look. Doll models. Some people make money modeling as living dolls very popular and much appreciated in Japan. Did you know your car can be a model too? Sometimes casting needs old cars for a period piece or classics to depict wealth or contemporary cars to fill the streets for a particular scene. Ka-ching! Animal models are ideal for owners because owners reap all the benefits. This because pets don't have bank accounts, but they do have to be well trained. Then there are people who MC events. That is a true talent. It takes skill to keep an audience entertained and engaged. A comedian is a funny guy or girl that can make people laugh in a live venue, on TV, or in a film. What can we say? Swimsuit models model swimsuits. And lingerie models model lingerie. Fitness models typically appear in fitness magazines and exercise ads. They also compete in fitness competitions. Okay, we've covered the main model types, but before we move on to actor categories, here's tips and techniques with Lori Lean. Hi, I'm Lori Lean, fitness champion pro competitor. I don't know about you, 
but on my first competition or when I first started competing, the swimsuit round was the ultimate scariest. Yeah, I have tons and tons of stage experience underneath my belt with glitz and glamour and high heels, but I don't know why the swimsuit round made me so nervous. So I wanted to share with you a couple of tricks that will hopefully ease you for your next swimsuit round on your competition coming up. Okay, what I have is two basic walks that are most common for the competitions that I'm in. They are the T-walk and the spotlight walk. Depending on the format of the show, the length of timing, either or may be used. And the swimsuit walk is pretty similar whether it's fitness or bikini. So check it out. Oh, and also, I might have added in a couple of things that you may not want to do if you wanted to get high scores from the judges. So check it out. <laughs> Can you spot them? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Here is the tea walk. The tea walk is a basic walk that is used in most local competitions because there's more time to showcase your look, your body, your presentation, everything is important in the judge's eye and you wanna showcase that. There are points on the stage usually marked at the top center, the top right, and the top left. In the competitor's meeting, when pointed out, you're gonna to wanna to pick those points because they're specific so that the judges can take a closer view at those angles to see you. And there's a limited time, so don't waste any moment. The spotlight walk is sometimes done when there's more competitors at a national or international level to get a chance for the judges to see everyone. It's a shorter time frame, but still you have that one top spot to showcase your look and everything that you want the judges to see that you've been working hard on. So again, don't waste any moment. Next up on the stage is competitor Miss C Rocket. You'll understand what I mean by the C in a moment. The competitions that I participate in is family oriented, fun, and classy. Poses like this may not be judged in a positive fashion. Other competition organizations, competitors may be used to doing those poses, and I'm not judging that, but I'm just saying that since this is a family-oriented, classy organization, those types of poses may not be scored highly. So, you're taking your chances, and if you're questioning your score as being lower than expected, this may be why. And of course, I'm exaggerating on these poses. I have not yet seen these poses to that extreme yet. Thank goodness. <laughs> Coming to the stage next is Miss Fidget D. You'll see why I call her that in a moment. Here she is walking so elegantly and gracefully. Then, oopsie, there she is adjusting, adjusting and making all kinds of movements that will distract the judges. So remember, whenever you get your moment to shine, you want to do just that. Shine and not have any distractions from digging, scratching, fidgeting, checking. You wanna have everything all secure so the judges won't have any distractions and you'll have great pictures because you know that photo op is gonna be of you digging and scratching and fidgeting and you don't want that. You've worked too hard for that. In this case, Miss Fidget D will have some interesting pictures to look back on. Once you get everything all down, after practicing lots and lots of times, in your heels, of course, as well as your swimsuit, 
you will be so much more confident on the stage knowing that the judges will get their perfect opportunity and see all of the hard work that you put in. Be polished, be classy, and do your very best to shine. And of course, smiling is always helpful. You've worked so hard to prepare yourself up to this point, so now have fun and add your own little style to everything that you do. Don't copy or try to be like anyone else but your own classy, beautiful self. That's all that I wanted to share with you for right now. Hopefully those tips and tricks were helpful for you on your next competition. Make sure you click the subscribe button and also the little bell down in the corner over there so you won't miss another lean tip. Until next time, I'm Lori Lean. Now let's talk about different kinds of actors. Principal actors. Principal actors are the actors that have speaking roles both in commercials and films. Leads. Leads are a special kind of principal actor. They have big roles in the film or production. The film, play, or television show revolves around the character that they are portraying. Many times big celebrities like Morgan Freeman or Sally Fields land or are requested for these roles. The success of the project or film is largely dependent on the skill of the lead actor, as well as other factors like directorial skill. Supporting Actors Supporting actors are also a special type of principal actor. They also have significant speaking roles, but less so than the leads. They help to get the story told in a compelling way. Stage actors. Stage actors perform in front of live audiences, such as in plays, on Broadway, or other live performances. Stand-in. Stand-ins are hired because they have the same look, height, and body type as the lead or supporting actor. Getting the lighting right and the blocking right can take a lot of time. The production does not want the stars or the principal characters to get tired out. So, they hire stand-ins to stand in the place of the principal actor until they are ready to shoot. In addition, there are SAG rules that mandate limits to how long an actor can be on the set without a break. Stand-ins are considered part of the crew. Day Players a day player is an actor or crew member hired to work for one day. They are also considered part of the crew. Stunt people. A production does not want the principal actors to get hurt. They don't actually want anyone to get hurt. But sometimes film scenes require dangerous work. So they hire well-paid actors to do dangerous work on set like driving a car on fire, hanging from a mountain, or falling from a great height. Background or Extras Background actors, also known as BG or Extras, are just that, extra people to fill the scene to make it look realistic. The director might ask them to walk up and down the street or sit in the background eating while the principal actors are acting the scene. Sometimes the background actors are asked to wear costumes, for example, if a party scene is happening. Being a background actor is one of the easiest ways to get in the business. I'm told that Brad Pitt and Renee Zellweger started out as background actors. We'll talk about that a bit more later. In addition to what we've just covered, actors are also categorized in the categories of SAG, AFTRA, non-union, and FICOR. But we'll discuss that in a later session too. Okay, now that we've discussed the wide range on camera talent that you can find in the business, you need to figure out which one you are. We've designed a couple of exercises that you can try to help you do that. 